will stand with you, as will Belacqua. But humans have always known us. There's more than one of you. Uncountable billions. What are you? Angels. Hey everyone, welcome back to Azar with Nick and John and our special expert Kyle. We're going to talk about angels in the world of His Dark Materials today. I don't know that much about it since I've just been watching the show. If you want to avoid spoilers, maybe don't watch this right now, but they're going to get into the lore and that from the book. So I'm going to be most listening, so I'll hand it over to Kyle and Nick. All right, so we're going to dive into angels. So angels and dust, they're pretty much the same thing, right? From what I remember from the book is when dust particles you know come come together they create angels but we also learn in the book angels are also created or humans can turn into angels right kyle yeah that's the interesting thing and they don't really talk about it right is is that because because as you say angels are from dust matter is spirit yes. spirit is matter mm -hmm. but but apparently according to the brief mentions they made in the book humans mortal beings can become angels yes through some weird transmutation which something. isn't explained at all no we no. just meet so, a couple angels in book three and that's how we know this yeah do you think that's something that they just kind of said hey we don't need to explain everything as far as the author or do you think it's just hey i don't want to get into that and they avoided it i mean do you have any thought I, this is just a guess on both of your parts but do you have any guesses on that sure there's there's a bit of speculation i mean i would say that you know philip pullman I think what he was trying to say about the story to get into the, you know, like the angelology of, of everything probably would have gone off the beaten path, I think. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, so that's probably why he omitted a lot of it. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. That's true. It was kind of taken away from like the main story plot. Mm -hmm. um, so, the, and they're also known as watchers too. And they're able to see through like terrors between different worlds. Cause they, they, they can fly through them. They have the power of flight. They can, um, go throughout the multiverse uh, what else can they do um they can oh they can turn into animals or any shape they want and then they can be invisible can, is that they can also um uh, oh well i don't oh. know if we uh if we oh. talk if if, if 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 this is spoilers but um uh don't they also in a way guide evolution it's, yeah that's kind of like well i think that's more dust than angels right well, like if you remember, it. if you remember one of the angels, I, I think she's in book two, but maybe in book three, right? She actually intervened herself in the evolution of humans. That's right. And that's what the authority did, basically. Right. Yeah. So right. I guess, yes. So they can um, mold human culture and they can also kind of communicate telepathically. In, but not, yeah. not not like actual language. It's more feeling and or that they can come, you know, and I, I don't know if it's between all angels or just between certain angels that have certain connections. Pretty much. I'm right? I feel that, um you know, usually our, our, our conception of telepathy and mm -hmm. and uh, like mind communication it is, is really basic. I think that they have a sophistication that we really, it'd probably be really hard to explain, mm, right? Because like, remember your mind just isn't like sending teletype words to one person or the other. Yeah. And like, it's a, a telephone. It's, it's the synesthesia of feelings, emotions, mm. like uh, senses, right? Yes. Um, and words. Yeah, because we kind of yeah. see that when, when it's used in the book, we see almost like emotions being passed to, to mm -hmm. another angel and stuff. And then and I was going to ask, so you were saying that they can travel throughout the multiverse, but you had mentioned terrors. So were they able to travel between the different worlds before the terrors, before the, the, the knife, or is that something that they had to wait until the knife started cutting through? I believe it was, it was before the knife. Okay. So they've always had that yeah. ability. Okay. Yeah. Cause, cause one thing that's, uh, well, mm, never mind. I, yeah, so that's spoiler so, territory. Yeah, totally, yeah. totally. I, even this oh. thought, I don't know if it's the same thought you had, Kyle. But they, if, if you if you think it's too spoilery, we can cut this part out. Um, they also have the ability to close windows. Is that is that too too much? I was to... about to talk about that. Oh, you were that, too. Oh, that was, was the spoiler way, territory like... I was worried about. Okay, yeah. okay. They can also close windows, but yes. I mean, we warned them. Spoilers, heavy spoilers. Is that going to contaminate the show? I don't know. I don't. 
<laughs> I don't think so that much because, I mean, if they can jump through the different worlds, which I don't think is too much of a spoiler, it's just backstory, then if they're creating holes, you would imagine mm-hmm. they could close them up. Otherwise, they'd be having all kinds of holes in the world. So I don't think that's too spoilery. But you did give them a warning just in case. You didn't give me a warning before you said that, but whatever. <laughs> all right. Jerk. <laughs> so and then let's also talk about, like, their power levels, right? So we have some angels like the Authority. Um, I don't want to mention the other ones because it could be spoilers, but um, of the other different angels' names. But we also have some like we have some like A class or no? What what what? what in X Men, it's like f- five for like the power scale. If they're like you know, super, yeah, I'm just thinking powerful. Super Saiyan and, and okay, super, okay, yeah, you there you go. Yeah, you have like Super Saiyan, <laughs> and then you have like someone that's only able to karate punch basically you know yeah I mean? like, like yamcha right yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we we see a variety of different angels too and depending on their power levels i think it's also how visible they are too i think the stronger the angels are they're mm. like super visible like like almost like human like you know like you can see them like fully and then the weaker they are you have to see them like at at nighttime or like with smoke in the way like it they're almost like transparent right is it yeah because they're more vulnerable and so they don't want to be as they're visible, very or... vulnerable the the weaker angels. i mean that that's what i mean yeah. is, is that why they're not more visible or they literally just can't manifest themselves and maybe it's not explained well, but so they can though because they can transform to any shape they want to mm-hmm. so like mm-hmm. sometimes okay. they're like physically present as like a bird and stuff like that where they're physically uh-huh. there so they ha- they have the ability i guess i guess to be seen but when they're mm-hmm. in their true angel form i don't know I think you have to see them like at certain type of lighting and like yeah. through smoke or rain. You know, it's kind of like um, like uh, like if someone's invisible and you like see the rain like splattering on them or something. You know what I mean? Like you see like <laughs> the outline yeah. shape. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and and that's the thing I would say about um, just about uh, you know, this material. Mm-hmm. Of course, as a fan, we'd love to really understand what what the whole metaphysics is of of angels but i i think one of the allures of at least for me is that you actually don't know and you kind of have the freedom to yeah i I guess uh speculate as we're doing right now right as to what Mm -hmm. could you know you know what what their hierarchy is and what it means for their power and stuff and yes yeah now kyle i have a question for you yes so in the book and in the show already Uh when dust presents and presents itself to mary and uh, Mary finds out like Dust has able to communicate. It's almost like a hive mind where like <laughs> all the dust can like transmit message or have the same thought go around and they tell they know truth and everything like that. But we find out in the book when we meet a couple of the angels or actually all the angels, they don't know the future or the right choice. And they're almost like human level with the future and pre- predictability. Right. So, so the thing, yeah, it, it's interesting because I, I think I've gotten mixed up where the series and the books portray dust and angels and their relationship, right? Mm-hmm. Because uh, I've, I've heard it speculated that the voice we actually heard through the computer is actually a, an angel. And oh. we're going to actually see her in the third season at some point. You think it's at least the that's one the, that's maybe that's what they're guiding saying. her? Or watching over her that's saving like protecting her from the specters and stuff like that maybe okay. um if i remember see, correctly it's see, another like, case wings in the actual show remember when yes. the kids see like an, like they, they they see an angel hovering over yeah. her so yeah if i remember correctly that that voice is actually one of uh the subordinates of lord asriel oh cool. later on yeah oh nice but i won't say who yeah, we have to wait because that's that yeah. could be major spoilers. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, so in 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 the books, though, it's I I I see it as like I always see dust as this, as its own thing and angels as their own thing, even though they say dust and angels we are the same. But I think it's almost like because even the humans in the show are made from dust, right? Dust kind of hangs around creativity and people that have intelligence and stuff like that. So, well, I mean, is there dust in humans? So, so no, no. Oh, dust yeah. dust uh dust is attracted to adult oh, humans, there you go. right? Yes. That's when it starts to settle on them, right? Mm-hmm. Um and now now here's the thing. Dust is a primordial force. Um it only has consciousness except through the angels, or so it would mm-hmm. seem, right? Because remember as the angels say, 
uh, life or, or like dust has a consciousness to know itself, right? It has a, d a desire to know itself. And dust may be blind in this desire, but it can be actuated through angels and other living beings that are conscious, mm. right? And and the angels, as you said, right, they are also uh, conscious beings, and they're throughout the, the multiverse, and they also have a desire to know. Like one of the things uh, that uh, I think, uh, uh, ooh, this will get into spoiler territory, but one of them said, uh, that uh, angels have a desire to know what it's like to be phys a physical being, yes. right? And they're actually jealous of humans yes. that they have that ability. Yes, they um, they do hold like a grudge against humans about yeah. it, with with low that key, aspect low key grudge. Yeah, yeah <laughs> low, low key. And and just to just to make clear, I believe all angels have wings, right? You know, I think so. so. Quiet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I, I think because uh, so, they all fly and they have the power to fly really quickly yeah. and stuff. And every angel that's mentioned, there's not like, oh, and he only had you know one wing because you know whatever. Yeah. You know, they're, it's always like they're always flying, and so I think they all have wings. Very interesting that they are the seraphim form of angels, and that they have six wings. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool, John. Is yeah. there anything you want to throw in with angels or dust? Yeah, no, I, I think you guys gave a pretty good amount of information without actually getting into you. Thank you, baby, cognizant of not throwing major spoilers. It's fun to get a little bit of the backstory, but again, you guys, the goal in these videos is not to cover everything. It's to give you a little bit of the in-between the lines that maybe was worded in the book, but they don't have time to include in the series, yeah. even though it's multi-seasons. Whereas, you know, even the book they're worried about going off track, it sounds like about the whole background of the angels. And it's fun. We're going to get into another video in Lord of the Rings territory talking about Amazon and how they're revisiting the the other you know works of J.R. tolkien and things like that and it's giving them an opportunity to dig more in the background and mm -hmm. maybe at some point if his dark material is really successful they'll be able to dig into because i know there's other books right there's yes. other series so maybe they'll be able to dig into some more of that backstory so really fun stuff any other things any other yeah, stuff you guys you know, want to mention if you guys are interested in angels we did a whole video explaining the authority and what the authority mm -hmm. is it's really related to this topic it goes deep into one kind of major theme and character but if you guys enjoy this you guys probably really enjoy that video <laughs> yeah and then this is continuing a series of deep dives that again myself i'm just kind of along for the ride enjoying getting the information but with kyle and nick having read the books we're getting that extra information so go and check back what we've already posted we might be posting as far as the extra content if you guys want to follow kyle check out his instagram he has some epic artwork he has his own like sci-fi vibe going on with also nature and natural stuff too so and he also designed this awesome shirt that i'm wearing i love this shirt it's just one of his sketches he did and we were like dude can we make that a shirt he's like yes and he has a bear shirt that i don't know are you wearing your your bear shirt right now kyle i am Woo! i'm showing it he right also now designed yeah. that shirt, which is one of my favorite shirts because i love bears <laughs> and he did that especially for me because i like to wear yellow sunglasses outside and uh and i'm a bear and i like to party and with that with a cap so <laughs> thank you so much cal that's me in bear form if you guys head over to azure.space along with all the audio and video links for the content we have click on the shop category you can you can pick up kyle's items and other items we have in the shop we're always expanding that with different series are recovered and different stuff that we think is really really fun so go check that out and we'll see you on the next as art